If You Were Me and leave, Lived in the Ancient Mali Empire by Carol P. Roman is, as you can guess, a little bit about the Ancient Mali Empire. Um, I have to say, before I get into the, you know, details of the book, I was actually blown away <laughs> by the Ancient Mali Empire, and there was a lot of things I did not realize. So let's, you know, go into the book and see for yourself. Um, the first thing I want to show you is illustrations. You have the text on one side and the illustrations on the other. So you could sit here reading, show the kids the pictures, they're not being distracted by the words. And for little kids, this is a huge plus because they can actually focus on, you know, you talk to them, they're concentrating, this is great. Um, the ancient Mali Empire apparently um, was very different from a lot of the other empires that, you know, you've probably learned about. Um, so here's a picture of what it looked like, you know, back then, and it's quite interesting. I like, you know, the buildings. The buildings were made out of mud and sticks, which, you know, is not unheard of back then. And the perspective of this is told by this little girl. Little girls in the Mali Empire were just like, you know, unfortunately, like girls um, elsewhere across the world where their jobs were more or less to, you know, stay home, learn to cook, sew, and you know, be good little girls. They were not reading or anything. But this little girl was fortunate enough because she did come from a well-off family. Um, the father was advisor to the king and the grandfather was the one who told stories. And this is really interesting, you know, this part really interested me um, because they had no written language. The Mali Empire did not have a written language, and at one point they became a huge, huge world power without a written language. They relied on the memory of others, and that, to me, was quite fascinating because the transactions between money, which was also interesting, the currency, although they don't call it currency, but what they used in, as a form of money was salt. They did not use gold, although they did have gold. They relied more upon salts as currency um, to trade with other parts of the world. The king, or the leader, he was also very interesting as far as character go you know, goes. And some of the things that I found, this one in particular where this girl was you know, being raised... He was called Mansa Musa, and he believed in getting, I would say, kind of social media networking, which they didn't have back then, but he would be the founder of that kind of things because he invited people from all over the world, architects and artists, and he was like, hey, come along, spread the love, see what we have to offer, and we'll learn from you. In addition, he had extra money. He would go touring different towns, and he would give just free gold to people, and that was really interesting because, you know what, back then, a lot of the um, other books and other empires that I've read about was more like a selfish note that they became powerful. And he kind of used spread the peace and network and, you know, you come to me and I'll come to you and we'll just be, you know, famous that way. And he really created a huge world power, you know, when he was ruling. And that was... I found that quite interesting. So the Mali Empire is filled with some surprises and kids will really, you know, find this book interesting. One thing I want to point out, um, as you can see, I flipped through many, many pages and the pages I've actually didn't go through one at a time. I've actually, you know, went through a few at a time. I just wanted to show you some of the beautiful pictures and illustrations, but look how many words are on the pages. So two ideas I want to leave you off with. The first idea is you can read this to an older child, kind of read like one or two pages a night and discuss because this is so rich and so full of details. So that'll be great to bond with your child or as a class project, take a month out of the classroom and just read the book to the class slowly, discuss it, do a project with your kids because there is so much information. I mean, the government alone is just mind-blowing and quite interesting and so rich and so full of details that you know what it's well worth reading and this alone could be a textbook for your you know both homeschool classroom and just a really in-depth good night story if your kids do love these details as an added bonus we are giving 
a giveaway so one of you lucky fellows will be able to take away this amazing amazing book and teach your kids more about the Mali Empire because you know I want to read this book a few more times it is so full with details and in the back it has important people who helped influence the government and there's a lot of them there are a lot of important people and it's just I, I don't know why this this specific you know this one fascinated me more than any other one so I'm definitely gonna put this on a you know must read list in addition you know you don't have to take my word for it and the giveaway for it because it's already won three awards right on the cover and so it doesn't need my proof how amazing it is if you want to see more books like this more giveaways education well feel free to like my channel subscribe let me know what you think in the comment box below because i'm here for my kids for your kids i'm just here for kids and i'm sure you've seen this the more fun your kids are having that's when the learning happens happy reading